Um, coach, overall thoughts on the game? Well, obviously not our best. Um, I think we have to start shooting the ball better to compete with teams like a Holy Cross who can just light it up um, from everywhere on the floor. Um, I just think they're such a difficult team to guard. We tried a little bit of everything, um, and it didn't seem to – it may have maybe stunned them for a little bit, but it wasn't long enough. Um, obviously, the pressing at the end helped us kind of get into maybe more of an offensive rhythm. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Manis just – I mean, hit some shots early that you don't expect to go in, and when she's in uh, the zone like that, it makes it – really difficult for for the rest of our defense so uh, you got to credit her um, she's an awesome player and we just have to we still have work to do I mean obviously I told them in the locker room that we're, this is not the end I don't care what, what time of the season is we can still get better and we're gonna look to do that for uh, Navy on Wednesday Emily Fisher had a great game. It seems like she's really coming into herself, specifically as a point guard. How do you see her progressing through the rest of the Patriot League play, but also for next season? Well, I'm just really excited for her because uh, she's gone through some ups and downs this season. Um, for her to be able to come out and feel great, you could tell in practice yesterday she was feeling really good about herself. And I know she puts pressure on a lot of defenses because she's so fast and gets the ball up the floor so quickly. Um, for her to be able to score 12 points is what you want in that position. And um, I'm really hoping that she can continue doing that for the rest of this season. Obviously, next season, I'm really excited about her progress. And my last question is TK. Yeah. She's been having some really good practices lately. Her minutes have been going up and up. Yeah. Can you speak on her performance a little bit? Well, one of the reasons we put TK in is because she understands what we're trying to do. And um, she did the best on number 10 from Holy Cross. And she was killing us inside. And so <laughs> you need somebody that knows what to do. And, and TK is that person. And she's really she's got great hands as well. So you, she tied up the ball that one time. She rebounds the ball well. Um, so yeah, that earns her minutes for sure. Uh, what did you see today that makes you optimistic going into the Patriot League tournament? I think the thing that I was most pleased with is we didn't give up. It didn't matter what the score was. I think we went down 20 at one point and still fought for every point we were trying to get and still fought on the defensive end. Um, this team has a fight in them, and they know that the season's not over just because we lost today. And I think if we continue to try to improve in the next week and a half, whatever, you know, until we go into conference play, that, that's a good sign. Um, I'm just hoping that we can score a little bit better as we move into conference play. And then 18 assists for Holy Cross and just yeah. 10 for AU. Can you talk about how much of an emphasis maybe needs to be placed on ball movement heading forward? Yeah, oh, I mean, we always move the ball in our offense. It's whether or not we connect. I think, you know, it's like we we get shots, but we don't make them. So that's why we're not getting the assists. For them, you, we were trying to get them to shoot more off the dribble. Um, but and sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. But yeah, I mean, they're again, they have five seniors. Uh, this, it's really difficult when, when there's a lot of experience on the floor. And I think that that hurt us a little bit today and they had a day. I mean, they played great and that's a team that could definitely win the conference if they play like that. And can you just talk about the interior defense a little bit? And, yeah, I mean, we need to do a better job. We're kind of young at that position and that's why TK made such a difference for us is that she's a junior. She understands uh, how to play post defense and then you have like a couple sophomores and then Morgan tried, but Morgan isn't as strong and as physical as a TK. So I think Morgan tried and worked hard, but again, it's just sometimes it's not enough when that kid's 6'3 and big. So. Uh, we have to we have to do a better job. Um, after today's game, what were some takeaways that you as a coach want to emphasize in practice with some time left before the Patriot League Conference tournament? I think getting in a rhythm on the offensive end, um, and obviously post-defense, that would be one of, one of the things, but I think just getting in a rhythm. I think sometimes today we had too many cutters cutting at the same time, so the timing's a little off. Um, that has to get a little bit better, and just shooting the, the three. I mean, we have to be able to make more threes um, as we go down the road here, and it's, I keep saying we're due for a good shooting a three-point shooting game and we just haven't had it so I'm hoping that they're saving it for March. <laughs> Um, to the, right now, you were just talking about the fight that your team goes out with and like competes with every single night. Um, as a coach, what expectations do you hold for your team going into the conference tournament? Well, to do the same. No matter what happens, who we play, doesn't matter. You come out the same way. And there's that playoff intensity that we're going to see. And I think just being able to rise to that occasion, whether it's on the offensive end or defensive end, is have that intensity and have them have to match our intensity, which is a big part of it, I think. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Coach. Thanks.